Hello guys, Dami here. Today I've got a pulse lengthener. I've got two different types of the same one and they're both 18 blocks in volume but they use slightly different mechanics and they are only a little bit different but we'll get onto that in a bit. Basically how these work is the pulse length corresponds to the amount of items that are put in this hopper. So in this one there's nine and in this one over here there's four. So this one will actually give a longer signal than this one over here. So if I press this button you'll see that this piston will stay extended and you can just take the output from that redstone block while it's over there and that will be your output. And on this one, this one goes over there and but only goes for a shorter amount of time because there are less items in here. Now onto the tutorial. I just want to say that there will be an explanation of how this all works after the tutorial so if you want to see that, stick around. So to build the, um, to build the one wide one all you need is the items you can see in here. And it's one wide, so you don't really need um, me to show you how to build it, because you can just screenshot this. There's just a few things to note. Make sure that the hoppers are facing into each other, and make sure this cauldron does have water in, otherwise it won't work. Also, this one does require 1.6 or the 1.6 snapshots, so be wary of that. So you basically just put an input into this piston down here, and that will um, activate it. So you can do that from anywhere, basically, and it'll do the same thing. Now the other version does work in 1.5.2 and works from then onwards. So the items you'll need to build the second one, that is this one over here, are these items. And we'll get onto this tutorial now. So we're going to start by having a piston facing out. You're going to put a redstone block on that. Then you're going to put two hoppers above it, facing into each other like so. Now you want to come over here, put a block over here. Put a redstone comparator facing out of this one put that going into a block and then you're going to put a block on this side over here like them put a piece of redstone dust there a redstone repeater there put a redstone torch here and then one normal piston or sticky piston doesn't actually make a difference over here now you put the amount of items that you want to make it work in here now again you stick the button corresponding to this piston here so it's powering it and then you put the number of items you want in here corresponding to the pulse length you want and then as soon as you do that, it will work. So now on to how they work. They work in slightly different manners. This one over here, basically we'll start with the input, so the block is pushed over here, and that means the items are now free to move from here into here. So when they're in there, this block will be over here, so it'll actually be, um, it'll actually be locked in this hopper, so it won't be able to go back. But as soon as they're all out of this first hopper on the left, this redstone comparator will turn off, so this redstone torch will turn on, push the cauldron, and now as of 1.6 and the snapshots, um, comparators can take outputs out of cauldrons with water in. So this will give a redstone signal, and it will push the block back, as you'll be able to see. So once all the items are emptied out of here, that happens, and it sends it back. The one over here, however, works by a button mechanic, because the blocks are stuck over here at the moment. As soon as you press the button, Again, they will be allowed to exit into this hopper, and again, this torch will turn on, and basically, what happens is it works by a bud, so as this is trying to push the block back into this path, as items enter back into this one, then this will push out this piston, and it won't actually be able to activate, so hopefully you'll be able to see that now. Now what this actually means is it's actually budded, because you can see this piston is actually being powered, but because of the other piston, it actually can't activate. So as soon as you update it, it will work. And so for that reason, you can actually power it by bud. Now a quick warning, a minimum of three items are required in here. Otherwise it won't work and it will get stuck, as I'll just show you now. So if I put two in, it will actually do that. So don't do that. Also make sure you don't put a block here, otherwise this will break it as well, so just make sure you leave an airspace or a transparent block above this one. But that is all there is for this video guys, I hope you like this build, and I'll see you next time.